So in um, part two, end of times date, uh, end of, what did I call it? End of days timeline, part two, Bible study. All right, so let's read Matthew 24, 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of Daniel by the prophet, and then I went and read Daniel. Then let him, then let them, here's to the Jews now, all right? So we know here, it's, it, it's in the three and a half year timeline that the devil actually comes into whoever the man is, which I, again, I'm going with a clone on this. Let me just interject. Why am I going with the clone on this? The first person being used in this position uh, suffers a, head, a deadly head wound and he comes back to life. Well, we can all, I mean, we can have that clone right there beside him, you know, and, and as soon as he suffers that, that head wound, let's say he falls down behind his, you know, whatever podium and uprises the clone with a scar in his head. But, but here, oh. do you see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Okay. So, so here in verse six, so, so here. It says the abomination of desolation. We know that's when the Antichrist takes the throne inside the temple. When the Antichrist goes into the temple and he sits on the throne, Revelation 13 kicks in. Here is where I am God. You will worship me. You will get my mark and no one buys, sells, eats, or drink, whatever, without my mark for I am the Messiah. All right, so right here in 2415, we're seeing Rev. Uh, let's see here, let me look at my notes. Rev 13 in verse 5 starts the last three and a half years. We'll get there. All right, so let's read Matthew 24, 16. Here's where the Jews, okay, the abomination of desolation has happened. Antichrist has taken the throne. Now in verse 16, then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child and, and to them that give suck in those days. Basically, it's saying run for your life. There's no, you're out of time. It's it. It's the last three and a half years. And the real wrath of God, I mean, up until this point, when you read Revelation, the tribulation, or I guess I should say the wrath, the wrath starts in Revelation 6. Okay, so now, so this is what's been going on. All, all, in the Olivet Discourse from, from Matthew 24 up into basically verse 16 is the first three and a half years. And then we've, then we've got, woe to you Jews, you know, watch out. Because the devil is the devil only cares about Jews. God, Jews are God's people. So he's after and, and God keeps saying throughout the Bible, I'm just looking for a remnant. I mean, I'm hoping to capture one Jew back, right? I mean, God knows how stiff necked the Jews are. They just are. Yeah, but remember in Galatians, uh, I think Galatians three twenty seven, it says this now neither Jew nor Greek, neither bond nor Gentile in Christ. Right, but 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 I'm talking about the devil here. I'm talking about the devil is really because of the bloodline, right? Because of the right, bloodline, right? Exactly. Okay. Uh, so it goes in. Um, okay, down in verse twenty-one. Well, for I, I said, uh, give second those days in nineteen, verse twenty. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. So the Jews are still practicing the law, right? Sabbath day. They, they're still practicing that. Because he, they're literally, right here is literally saying, you don't have time to get off your rooftop and go in your house, or you don't have time to, to, to leave the field and go get some clothes. And, you know, yeah. on, on, this, on the Sabbath day, I mean, like you've got 24 hours to get to safety or, or, or it's, it's over with. We'll read that in Revelation. Anyways, verse 21, for then shall be great tribulation. Now, great tribulation is different from tribulation. So we have tribulation that's, that's recorded throughout the Bible. And then all of a sudden, after the three and a half year mark, it becomes great tribulation. And that's where it starts in Revelation, uh, basically starting with, this is the final, in Revelation 14 gives the final warning. The angels come and give the final warning. And then in 15, um, the great tribulation, that's the vials, basically. 
The seals, the horses have already wow. run. The, vi the, the horses have run. The seals have been broken. And the great tribulation is the vials. Okay. For then shall be great tribulation, such wow. as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor never ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there shall be no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And then, now, why? Who is the elect? I did a video That's on the elect. Uh, if you look at, if you go to my YouTube channel, the video is actually called the elect. And the elect okay. are, the, are basically, I did a whole video and I went through every single verse in which is called the elect. But it, it, if I were to just, you know, watch that video, but if I were just to make it, break it down, it's so written in the book of life. Because there's lots. Right, so it's, it's what I, that's what I thought. So, if, why is the elect still here? Why aren't they raptured? You're right. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So This is the part that always gets me. Well, right here, no, I can understand that. And my first response, and I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying that my first response is that um, there is a remnant of Jews that are written in the book of life. And, and okay. we're, we're hoping in these final days, they, they, turn, they finally say, all right, that clearly was not the Messiah. We were duped. That's the Antichrist. That's that's the counterfeit. Because okay. because of we what we do know for sure is the Antichrist is really coming after the Jews. That's who he was. And maybe maybe they're the ones that remove the mask from the Antichrist. Maybe the elect, the Jews, the elect that come to their senses right. are the ones that that remove his mask. And we do, and we do you know, know we do know that there will be people um, that will come to their senses because they will uh, continue to worship and preach the word of Christ and and, and go against the Antichrist because they're going to be beheaded. And we know we know that it says in Rev, I think it's Rev fourteen, or I can't remember. It, we'll get into Revelation, but anyways, there, there there are going to be people who do stand up for Christ and they get their heads cut off, and they're right. and so so we know that there's still a remnant in these days. In the last three and a half year, when no one is allowed to worship anything other than the beast, it's going to be you know again the foreshadow of uh, of uh, Nebuchadnezzar. You know, three guys did not bend down and worship the statue and they were thrown in the furnace so now it'll be it'll be you know probably we're all hooked to ai at this point and if at a certain mm -hmm. time of day when you know if we're not continually worshiping the beast then we're going to be seen there's going to be a drone come in and we're going to take it out to the street and cut our heads off whatever what it's going to be brutal okay let me go back to my yeah. notes. yeah let me go back to my notes here let's see So, so Daniel 9.27 is the only place that, that tells us for sure that we have seven years of tribulation. And so let's see here. The son of sin sits in the temple of God. So now let's go to, I've got down here on my notes, 2 Thessalonians 2. Thessalonians 2. To, uh, verse 3 and 4 let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first okay a falling away first is the caught up snatched away a falling away first so the rapture us are going to be raptured okay except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition so you see, we're not going to be here for the temple. We're not going to be here for the Antichrist to take his seat. Now in verse 4, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. 
And know ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And it goes on and talks about the wicked will be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy. It goes on talking about this time, but, but we're gone. So that's, that's a, really the point I'm making here is that we're just not going to be here for any of this. Okay, let me go back to my notes. So one thing to know that we can't discount um, is the temple, while, while the Temple Institute does have like all, everything they need in place, like everything's bought and paid for. Um, yeah. A, a, a temple can also be a tent. So the Antichrist can very quickly put up a tent, take the throne right away. In other words, we can't discount that. But it doesn't matter. Everything says that we're not here when the Antichrist comes and makes the peace treaty with the Muslims allowing for anything to be put on Temple Mount. Okay, so uh -huh. I find it interesting, this whole Red Bull thing, which has been from the, you know, this is Baal worshiping. But they don't have the Ark of the Covenant, or do they? They have a, if you go to the Temple Institute, they have the, I don't know that they have it in gold. They have the, uh, what's the word I want? Like the, the you know, like the, um, you know how you have something in 3D, a model? They had the model. A model. Yeah, yeah they had like, like the whole thing. <laughs> like you can go to the Temple Institute website and you can see a 3D, mm -hmm. like they, they do this uh, video where they go around in a 3D thing. The arc is there, but it's only there as a, um, it's all been done in a 3D uh, model, so no. Okay, like, like a replica. Like it's a replica, replica right? Replica. It's just, it's just yes. kind of, yeah. Just like the devil, like the Antichrist is counterfeit too. You mm -hmm. got to build a counterfeit temple. Right. Exactly. Okay, so here, let me go back to my notes here. So then I go to First Thessalonians. 417, then we which are alive, here, let me, I'm going to read that first, first Thessalonians four, let me go first Thess four, let's see, let me go down to 17, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And again, wherefore comfort one another with these words. So it's very clear we're in no part of wrath. And, and there's another verse, and hopefully I find it in my notes, but there's another verse where it says, um, God has never intended wrath upon his people. Um, and you can go to a concordance and find that, but let me just follow yeah. my notes here and see what time we are. Um, we got about 15 minutes, I think, before you have to leave. So well, let's see. I'm in the park. I went ahead and drove over, so I'm in the parking lot. Oh, okay. So we can, if we end at five till seven, it'll be perfect. Okay. Just let me know where that is because I'm on a different time. Okay. Well, oh yeah, we're at six fifty right now. So five minutes. Okay. So um, that might be a good because I've I've went through how the Jews figure think you know there's a remnant of the Jews that's going to figure things out three and a half years into it. And they go into hiding. And if you look at, if you really look into that, there's an area outside of Jerusalem that's been created for these Jews to go into hiding. It starts with a P. It's something like Pergamon or per, Pergus something. I went and watched. Yeah. A, I went and watched a video on it, and it is a. P, yeah. It's a Pergus. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like it's it's a little hidden. It's kind of off. You know, they do do tour, tours there, but it does look like you know ancient caves or ancient cave systems that you could go and probably, you know, hide away for, for however long. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, the one big takeaway, I'm going to, I really hope that you post this because I really need to go through these scriptures um, step by step and really sit with this. And I'm glad that we're not going any further because there's a lot to unfold here. Right. But, um, the whole elect thing is what always threw me off with the timeline because I'm like, why would the elect not be raptured? 
But now, like you're saying, <clears throat> the elect, the chosen ones, we know, mm-hmm. the names who, who are, our names are written down in heaven. So that kind of makes sense now. So then I'm thinking of, okay, well, that, that could be. That could be that the elect are the Jews, the bloodline, mm-hmm. that come to realization and um, then are, are, like you said, pre-trip, like halfway through, they're halfway through mid-trip, I mean, right. come to the realization and then they reveal that he's the, the Antichrist. Right. Right, he's going to be. It's going. To, it's going to be an easy reveal because the, his personality is going to change a hundred percent. He's going to be the false prophet of peace and security and safety. He's going to. He's going to be. Everybody's going to be celebrating him. He's going to be building the temple. You know, he's bringing back sacrifice. I mean, the Jews are getting what they've been winning since seventy A.D. And then all of a sudden, bam, he becomes a hundred percent different, evil being everybody bow down worship me or your head's getting cut off so that's why it says in 24 you know 16 matthew 24 16 that them which in judea flee into the mountains they got to get out of there they're not going to survive what's coming and what's coming then you go into the second half of tribulation that starts in revelation 16 all the vials and the vials are horrible i mean you know a third of mankind is killed a third of the trees and and grass, a third, a third of the sea turns to blood, a third of the waters are bitter with the star wormwood, all of that. So let's stop here at, um, yeah. let's stop here. And I think what we want to do is we want to pick up um, with next week is going to be getting into, because I kind of covered all of that discourse and I covered Daniel on this. We're going to start with uh, Revelation. We're going to, we're going to put us in the timeline with Revelation. So we know we're at 315. Four and five is just, you know, John's visit to the throne room. But we're going to start in Revelation 6, and we're going to look at now the end of days through Revelation. Okay. And then we'll go through the um, clone and the Antichrist, right? The clone and the uh, people without blood. That's that's what I'm finding is the people without blood is a little scary because when you start running into those people in the end of times... um, you know, their names are never in the book of life, but we're going to be, so mm-hmm. not we, we're, we're going to be raptured out. But when you start dealing... You don't think they're here now? I think they're, they're here, already no, here. No, of course they're here now. They've been here since, uh, they, I think they've been here since Nimrod. They've been here since the Tower of Babel. Oh. Everybody, okay, yeah. everybody learned what they needed to, and then God came and crushed the Tower of Babel, and they just took that, their symbols and their sex rituals and their blood rituals, and they spread out all over the earth, and they've been doing it ever since then. They've been doing it since 100 years after the flood. And now we're at critical oh. mass where it's now, and now it's technology that's celebrated and talked about on TED Talks with, you know, AI, metaverse, and CRISPR technology. So it's here and it's celebrated and the biggest people, the most intelligent people of the world, they love it. They're in on this. Yeah. 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 All right, sister. Um, thank you. And then, um, wow. <laughs> I'm going to have to go through this all. So post this video as soon as possible. I'll post it now, but it usually takes like 24 to 48 hours to actually Uh, upload. So I will do that. And I'll talk to you next week. Okay. All right. Love you, girl. Love you. Bye.